Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Okay, so there's some news about uh, Jamie Kloss, even though, which it's just so unusual, man. And uh, supposedly it has nothing to do, he's been cleared of any connection to her disappearance, according to the sheriff. And it's not known why he says that, uh, but... An individual was was apprehended breaking into the Kloss home on Saturday, I think, at 2 in the morning. The guy's name is Kyle Janke, 32-year-old, detained by DCI agents uh, at the home and admitted stealing multiple items from the residence. The, uh, the criminal co complaint sheet is here. And... Um, you know, I, I'm trying so hard to stop reading stuff because my reading is so atrocious and it's really uh, just disappoints me. But um, some of it, I can't help it. There's just too much material. So let me just kind of read through some of the charge. All right. So man identified. The man identified as 32-year-old Kyle Janke was detained by DC-8. DCI agents at the home and admitted to stealing multiple items from the residence. Charges say among items found in Janky's coat pockets were an extra, extra small pink tank top, an orange and white girl's dress, and a pair of girl's underwear. He was also found with a flashlight, pair of gloves, and a back, black face mask with a skull on it. Janky told investigators he left work he works at Genio, Turkey Store. I don't know if he works at the same processing plant where they work. As I understand it, Genio has retail locations. I'm not positive this, but that's how I, I'm pretty sure it's similar to like Wawa out here, which is a dairy farm, and they have Wawa stores to sell their milk, and they sell tons of other stuff too. Uh, Cumberland Farms is another example, I believe, in, in, in Cincinnati. They have UDF. It's this, I don't know why this model seems to replicate itself, but Turkey O seems to sit, uh, fit in that model. Not that you care, but I don't know if he works in a Turkey O retail store, convenience store, or if he works in the processing plant where the parents worked. So Janky told investigators he, le he left work at Genio Turkey that evening and rode his bike to a laundromat in Barron. He said he then walked to, uh, from the laundromat to the Kloss residence. Charges state Janky told FBI agent and DCA, DCI agent he did not have permission to enter the Kloss home and took the items because he felt they wouldn't be missed. So uh, there's a motion detected camera set up, I guess, for exactly like something like this. I mean, who would go back to the scene of the crime and, uh, and, and steal clothes from it? So, but uh, that detected him, and that uh, so that alerted dispatch. Dispatch notified um, the FBI. DCI showed up as well, something like that. And they surrounded the place, you know, and they turned their lights off. I think one guy, I'll read a portion of the complaint, but I'm just going to summarize for now. Approached it, and all the lights were on. I think in the place, saw movement in there, and then he they. Then I think they, you know, shouted for him to, to come out, something like that. So, charges state Janky told FBI agents and DCI agent he did not have permission. I already said that. Additionally, the defendant stated he was curious about what size Jamie was. The criminal complaint states Janky had been charged with burglary and ba uh, felony bail jumping. The court records show that he's, he's, been char he's, been, he's been charged for this same thing before. Basically, court records show Janky was released from custody after signing a bond on, on August 11th, which included the condition that he must not commit any crimes. On August 10th, Janky was charged with burglary in a similar, similar case where he was accused of breaking into a trailer and stealing women's clothing. He was convicted on a theft charge in 2012. The Barron County Sheriff shared an update on their Facebook page on Monday stating they had ruled that Janky has no connection to Jamie's disappearance. I could not find that. You know, I don't know if they pulled that down or what. I really did. I could not find that, um, that update. Maybe it's in their most recent update and it's just, um, it's in the update and it doesn't like, it's not the, uh, like the title of the post. That's not the dude, by the way. 
So there's a tip out there that will break this case. This is the most recent update, October 29th. We have received over 2,000 tips, have closed over 1,875 of them. There's a tip out there that will break this cave. Keep, keep them coming. On Saturday, okay, on Saturday, October 27th, we arrested Kyle Janke, 32, of Cameron. For burglary at the Claus home, Janke has been cleared of any involvement in the disappearance, but was charged in Barron County Court today with burglary and bail jumping. Sheriff Fitzgerald. I assume he has an alibi, I guess, or they just, uh, I don't know, some something tell, you know, it, something that it, um, is exculpatory so that he's not, he's not the dude, even though it's so unusual. So he's on Facebook. There's a couple different uh, profiles of him, and there's, there's more beyond that that's posted in the comments of his Facebook page that people found digging, 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 you know, digging for him. I don't even think I'm going to go through it, but it's, it's highly unusual stuff, definitely. So, um, but according to the criminal complaint, it, contingent, it, it describes a sergeant responded to the home, arriving in four minutes. DCI agents also responded. The, the sergeant blacked out his squad, no lights or siren, and walked up to uh, the property on foot. While, on the front, while in the front yard, the sergeant saw movement inside the home as there were several lights on and the blind shades were open, the complaint says. The complaint further alleges officers established a perimeter around the residence and obtained a canine dog. The DCI agents ordered the man to put his hands up and walk out of the house. He exited the patio door. He was a Caucasian male wearing a puffy coat, glasses, and holding a flashlight. He was named as Kyle uh, Janky Annis. The sergeant and canine searched the residence and determined no one else was inside. The DCI agent questioned the defendant who allegedly admitted to entering the property without permission and stealing multiple items that did not belong to him from inside the residence. The following items were allegedly located in his coat pocket, a pink tank top, extra small for orange and green girls size 12 underwear, red and white girls tank top, under Armour, an orange and white girl's dress. He also had a black and green flashlight, a set of black gloves, a black face mask with a skull on front, Swiss Tech brand, the criminal complaint alleges. So, you know, it, uh, it says here, I believe it's somewhere in the criminal complaint. I didn't read it from beginning to end, but... He took, uh, he said he took her clothing because they were items people wouldn't miss. He also said he was curious about what size Jamie is. He said he did not know the Kloss families. Authorities found a tank top, girls underwear, and a dress in his possession, the complaint said. Fitzgerald did not say why Janky Annis was cleared of any involvement in Jamie's disappearance. A court appearance was scheduled for November 7th. So, and I don't know if he remains in, remains, in, in remains in custody or what. You know, it's, uh, it's, so, it's so unusual, man. But uh, supposedly he's not, he has nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sure they wouldn't say that if uh, they weren't sure. What, uh, and, um, you know, when I looked at his Facebook page, one of them, I don't even know if this is him, though, Kyle Janke. This, I mean, this is him because it brings up a picture of him. This is his exact name, and that's uh, that's you know um, that one there. But the other one is uh, you know no longer available. No, that's not it. It's the next one. So I don't know. Um, normally, not always though. Normally, that's Facebook taking something down. You know. But that's not always, you know, that's not a, an absolute. Just seemed odd, though. But that's, uh, that's the story there, man. That's the story there. Pretty, pretty strange, you know. I'd say, uh, I'd say everybody would see that as pretty odd. That's it, man. That's the story there. Thanks for watching my videos.
please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I will see you in the next video. Later, man.